Have you or any of your friends ever thought about getting a BBL before? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And, and why do so many girls want to like increase their butt size or their glute size, but they don't even want to twerk in the club? Um, because y'all stay liking them Instagram models' photos on Instagram that don't even look cute. <laughs> Listen, today we're going to provide you guys with seven tips to help you lose weight and build a bigger butt. Make sure you stay to the end and receive all seven tips. Let's get straight into it. <clears throat> you won't catch me like an Instagram model on Instagram anymore. I anymore. On Instagram, and I can Anymore. Did you guys hear that? All right, guys. Tip number one is you really want to focus on your progressive overload, and that all that means is you're increasing your weight, whether that be within the sets that you have, or also weekly or bi-weekly, however you want to do it. But you need to be adding on that weight. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to go from doing like a hundred pounds on your squats one week, and then the next week you go to up to like 200 or 250. Like that's that's crazy. You can do like per plate i like to do per plate depending on the exercise so say for leg press i do 45 pounds on each side to start out with and then on the next set then i do another 45 pound plate but that's because i can do that on leg press but with squats i maybe increase maybe 20 pounds each set so it really just depends on what you can do but also with that in mind you want to track so you want to make sure that you're keeping up with what weights you are doing per set and per week so that when you do go to increase you accurately increase your weights so listen a lot of people they struggle to lift weights they don't want to lift heavy weights but you really want to load the bar up like how you load that plate up on thanksgiving day <laughs> skip <laughs> Yes, guys, it's very important. You're not gonna get the results that you want. You're not gonna really be able to lose that fat and build up those glutes if you're not loading up the bar, lifting heavy. Now, yes, as Ash said earlier, yes, you do not want to just jump. You don't want to go from 100 pounds to 200 pounds. You want to gradually increase. I feel like something that's easy and scientific backs me on this is just you know doing a gradual increase of five pounds each and every week. And that, that's, a, that's an easy, safe place to avoid injuries. On top of doing you know, progressive overload, also your rep ranges. Really the best way to build muscle is to shoot from that four to six rep range. But the problem with that is, that can really tear up your joints if you're lifting heavy, if you're lifting 300 pounds, 400 pounds, 500 pounds. So, you know, maybe you can cycle on that for a time period of four to six weeks. But another effective way, I like to call it like my sweet spot, is anywhere from, you know, eight to 12 reps, really pushing myself in that weight. That way the weight's not too heavy, but it's heavy enough to challenge me. And every set you're taking to a failure. So if you're shooting from eight to 12 reps and you're taking that to a failure, that's gonna, that's gonna increase your muscle growth and that's gonna be a form of hypertrophy. Oh, hypertrophy, if I said that right. But y'all get what I'm saying. So, <laughs> hypertrophy, damn. All right, there we go. You want to make sure you're increasing your cardio. Now listen, increasing cardio to really help you lose weight and build muscle, that does not mean that you need to eat more. A lot of people think that just because you increase your cardio, you get to eat more. No, guys, I know that you may your cravings may go up, but you have to give your body time to adjust. When you're reducing your calories and you're increasing your cardio, it's natural for your body to want to eat more, but it's only going to be like that for a day or two. The cravings don't last forever. <laughs> In my, in, my personal, in my personal opinion, when you would reduce your calorie, you increase your cardio, do you have a different experience? No, the whole the whole time you might, you yeah, you might adjust within two days, but for most people, you also still might have those cravings majority of the time. But also with cardio, like he said, it also depends on the type of cardio you're doing. So if you're doing sprints, yeah, you're definitely gonna feel more hungry. Or if you're doing long distance running, you're definitely gonna feel more hungry. But to help combat that, you can just do walking and We've had multiple videos where we're saying like how walking is really good for you being in that zone three state Like that's gonna be really good for your heart health as well as for burning fat So if you do that, you're actually gonna be less inclined to have that hunger But also like we've said you want to try to find what kind of cardio also works best for you as well Yeah, and I think like again guys when I'm saying like increasing your cardio and you might have more cravings but you should just be careful like instead of doing jasmine rice maybe do cauliflower rice because you can do four scoops of cauliflower rice and that'll equal up to one scoop of jasmine rice and that'll allow you to feel a lot more satiated but where you're killing your gains is when you're going to you know you're like oh I'm, I'm, I'm hungry I had these cravings so now you're going out and just grabbing some food from McDonald's and that's what's really hurting you you know I'm not always consistent you know I'm not always in the gym every single day so on those times when I'm not consistent I really make sure to lock in on my diet like if I know if I'm going on you know if I'm, if I'm busy you know with work and you know other obligations I might miss a day or two in the gym but I don't I don't 
don't add on to that by then missing a day and then taking that time to go eat, you know, and pizza or things like that. So it's very, you have to be mindful of that. Yeah, guys. So another thing you can do is just make sure that you plan out your week. For me, well, I used to have a steady set schedule, but now I'm seeing patients. So now my days are kind of hectic. She's in dental school at Howard University. Yeah, sorry. I'm a dental student. Hey, if you're in the DMV area and you need a dentist, he's going to put my Instagram down and just let me know. I'm going to hit you up. I'll also put our new patient form in the, in the description below so you guys can reach out to, to her via that form. And you guys can sign up. <laughs> So I try to do what's called carb cycling. So on my days that I do work out, I, ha I eat more carbs. So I eat about 200 grams of carbs on my training days. But on my off days, I only eat about 100 grams of carbs. So that'll really help with also slimming down. And also that's like you want to increase your carbs on the days you do work out just because it helps to give more energy because your carbohydrates are going to be your main source of energy for your workouts. So that's kind of like the method behind the madness. But yeah, kind of having a schedule and and planning out things it's the same thing when you do go to the gym and then you want to have a set schedule of what your workouts are going to look like because again that's going to help with that first tip with tracking and why do so many girls want to like increase their butt size or their glute size but they don't even want to twerk in the club um because y'all stay liking them instagram models photos on instagram that don't even look cute <laughs> and i said what i said <laughs> so. shots fired at <clears throat> You won't catch me like an Instagram model really? on Instagram anymore, I anymore. On Instagram and I could have sworn <laughs> anymore. I said anymore. You, did you guys hear that? I mean, I you guys say that you want these bigger glutes, but you guys aren't even training legs more than once a week. You need to be training legs anywhere from two to three times a week. Three can be a little bit overkill if you're really pushing it. I try to train legs at least twice a week. Ash, how many days a week do you train legs? I really just do it twice a week too. I have a glute and hamstring day and then I have a glute and quad day. Have you ever tried to train three times a week? How does that work for you? Um, I was trying to do it three times a week, but also with how like I've kind of gotten a little bit more hectic with school. So I've cut from five days a week down to four days a week. Um, but even when I was doing it five days a week, what you really want to do when you are working muscle groups is you want two to three days of rest in between working a muscle group. So I kind of found it hard to try to implement a three day schedule while also allowing those two to three days of rest in between. It kind of only really works with having two days. So I know a lot of people that come to me with questions at like asking, why can't I just work out my legs every single day? Cause there's a lot of women that work all seven days thinking that that's also gonna grow your glutes, but you really need to give your muscles rest. That's actually when your muscles actually grow is during that recovery time. So that's one thing that I would say, if you don't, you can, you can underdo it, but you can also overdo it. Have you or any of your friends ever thought about getting a BBL before? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I actually, for a period of time, I was like, I was like insecure about my hip dips. And I was like, mm, maybe I'll get some like fat injected, like just in my little hip dips. But honestly, I'm learning to love my body more and I don't need that because I already got a booty. And it's really funny because I feel like the friends that already have butts are the ones that said that they would get a BBL. I'm like, girl, we already got a booty. I don't know why we need more of it. Sometimes I look at certain girls and I'm like, man, if that girl would just get the gym, she'd be a problem, man. Ashley, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's very important to make sure you're loading up on your protein, especially my ladies. A lot of you guys are struggling to consume enough protein, so I highly recommend protein supplements. The protein that I use is this tastes incredible, and I've been using it for a while. And I've and I've taken protein for years. It's ISO 100. That's an easy protein. One scoop of it has 25 grams of protein. I'll provide a link to that in the description below, so you guys can check it out. You guys want to be shooting for 1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein per lean body mass. A lot of times you'll hear people say, "Oh, one gram of protein per body weight," but that's just if I'm 100. 80 pounds and I'm having 100 grams of protein for me that's not sufficient enough I'm shooting I'm pretty high up there I'm shooting anywhere from 220 grams of protein to 240 grams of protein tip number five guys tip number five tip number five now building glutes can be difficult but a good starting place when you're in the weight room is to make sure your your numbers are generally going up on these core lifts such as you know your your barbell hip thrust you know your back squats leg press leg curls those movements are going to really help maximize your glutes your hamstrings and your calves really train the whole posterior chain so ash what are what are the main lifts that you do and like did you notice the difference when you were increasing your numbers on those lifts um yeah for sure i will say though like 
So take hip thrust, for example. Right now, I could do four plates on both sides. However, I like my little sweet spot where I do one, like one plate on both sides of 45 pounds or two plates of 45 pounds on both sides. But then like some people, they might start out with doing like 10 pounds on both sides, but you need to work up to trying to go to at least that weight, like a 45 on each side or the two 45s on both sides. Like that should be like what your aim is. Cause also the thing too, like you don't want to do too much weight. You don't want to ego lift because you don't want to be lifting heavy weight and then your form is off. Like that's another thing. You want to make sure that your form is correct. You're doing that time under tension. Stuff like that is really going to help to actually build your muscles. So listen, for my petite ladies who you guys are struggling to put weight on and you guys are struggling to get stronger, as Ash mentioned earlier, you know, time and attention, it's important to slow it down so you can gradually build strength. A lot of you guys are just rushing into the movements. Like you want to really slow down. You can explode up, but on the eccentric, you really want to go nice and slow. And even, you know, you can you can do slow eccentrics and you can also do holds. So when, you know, when I'm doing, when I'm doing my barbell hip thrust, you know, I tend to do a three count down, explode up and hold for two. And that's one rep right there. That's gonna really allow you to increase your numbers. When you see so many people struggle to make progress, you know, you have to challenge your muscles different ways. So time and attention is, you know, an effective thing to do or just increasing the weight or increasing the reps. So those are easy things that you can implement. And also if you're having a lot of injuries, you're having a lot of pain with the joints, I highly recommend time and attention because that way by doing time and attention, that's gonna decrease the amount of weight that you're actually using. So that's gonna be less stress on the joint. I highly recommend that. And that's tip number five. Tip number six, tip number six, a lot of you guys already have a nice shape but you just need to go into a calorie deficit and make sure you're moving your body a lot more that's going to really allow you to shed a lot of that fat so something i recommend if you're already in the gym you already have a nice shape i highly recommend getting in your steps you know walking more walk anywhere from 10,000 to 12,000 steps a day is really going to help target and focus on those fat cells to really help you lose weight Walking, walking eight to 10,000 steps a day on top of doing your weight training is really gonna target those fat cells and really gonna allow you to get that nice, slim, thick shape that I know you guys all want, right? Why are you asking me if you're asking them? I mean, that's not what everybody wants. What do you want? I wanna be slim thick. Well, I am slim thick, but. <laughs> here we go, here we go. It could be a little slim thicker, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, she'll be working that hard. She, she another one. She don't be living no waste, man. Tip number seven, tip number seven, guys. This is the most important tip of them all, guys. Be happy with who you are. Be happy with your body as it is, man. Your body is amazing just how it is, you know. But I highly recommend getting some steps. <laughs> no. No. We're going to get him out of here. He ain't, he ain't, he, he wasn't, he wasn't never amounting to shit anyway. He couldn't do nothing for our lady. Listen, y'all, what he, what he meant to say, I'm going to filter out the, that stuff. Yeah. What he meant to say is, for in order for you to make a change, a healthier change for yourself, you have to love yourself first. Mm -hmm. So, and I know that that can be hard sometimes. Like even for me, I like I have my insecurities, whether or not I'm bigger or not. Like I'm, I know I'm still gonna have my insecurities, but at the same time, like just because you have insecurities, that doesn't mean that you can't love yourself. So my thing is, when you do pour into yourself, that is a form of love for yourself. Me going to the gym, that is me showing myself love. Me eating healthy, that is me showing myself love. Stuff like that, so yeah. That's that's what he meant to say. Yeah, all of that, all of that. But yeah, seriously though, with insecurities, guys, we all have them. Insecurities are a real thing. Everyone has insecurities. If someone tells you that they don't have any insecurities, they're lying to yeah, you. Yeah, you don't like that his head, his head is so big. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll show y'all some insecurities. I take this hat off right now. That's some insecurities right there. Cause the boy ain't get no cut. But it's all good though, cause you know for that next video, I'm gonna have it lined up just for y'all. But yeah, you know you gotta really love yourself and invest in yourself. And and another thing that I realized for me personally, on those times when I felt like you know insecure or not the most confident, when I have taken that time to go to the gym and make those investments in myself, that's really allowed me to build myself up to feel a lot more confident. So if you are feeling insecure, you know something that that's been helpful for me is just you know getting into my routine and you know doing things that allow me to feel better. And then typically it'll trickle down into how I feel on the inside and mentally. So, all right, man. So listen, those are the seven tips. Appreciate you guys for watching the whole video, making it this far. Listen, so because you guys made it this far, I'm going to provide you guys with something for free. If you've never been to the gym before, you never worked out, you want to do something at home, you want a fitness plan, meal prep option, step count, 
Email me the word ebook at contactperformance at gmail.com. The email address is in the description below, and I'll provide you guys with my free fitness ebook. We got a bunch of different stuff coming out. Ash, thanks for coming. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Don't 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 be paying her too much mind. You know, she's done and she don't speak for me, okay? So earlier when she like she speak for me, she she don't speak for me. But that, <laughs> Hey listen, man. We locked in. We locked in, man. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button. Make sure you guys hit that notification button. It's going to let you know when the next video is coming out, man. I'm dropping content every other day, man. Let's get into it. Content performance, we out.